Lyme's disease is caused by the bite of a tick infected with a specific Lyme-causing bacteria and most commonly occurs during the summer months. I'm Lauren Audie and this is your Herald Health Minute brought to you by the Cape Regional Health System. It's probably safe to say that everyone has been bitten by either a tick or a mosquito in their lifetime. Many times the irritation that remains is minimal and temporary, but these pesky insects can pose a real threat when it comes to carrying disease. To prevent tick and mosquito bites, know when and where to expect these pests. Ticks live in grassy, brushy areas, often in your backyard. Spending time outside walking your dog, camping, gardening, or playing could put you in contact with a tick. Mosquitoes can bite at all hours and live in warm, moist places, often garages, sheds, and areas of stagnant water. If you need to be outdoors, wear light clothing that covers your arms and legs along with applying an Environmental Protection Agency registered insect repellent. Repellents are not advised for children two months of age or younger. Repellent containing permethrin kills ticks on contact and is meant to be applied to your clothing and outerwear, including boots, and remains protective through several washings. Always check your clothing and skin for ticks after being outside. Don't forget to check all areas where a tick can hide. If you get a tick bite, you can remove it in three easy steps. First, with a pair of fine-tipped tweezers, grab the tick as close to its mouth as you can, holding your tweezers parallel to your skin. Pull the tick out in a slow, steady, straight motion, not crushing or twisting it to avoid a piece breaking off and remaining in your skin. Clean the bite area with soap and water and monitor for signs of infection, such as a rash, fever, headache, aches, joint pain, or swollen lymph nodes that may take days or weeks to develop. We hope these tips help you to lessen your risk of getting sick from viruses spread from ticks and mosquitoes as you enjoy the outdoors this summer. If you should remove a tick from you or your loved one, you may want to keep the tick in a jar or a plastic bag to show it to your doctor. For more Herald Health and Wellness reports, visit capemaycountyherald.com and click the Lifestyle tab. This health video has been brought to you by the Cape Regional Health System. For more information on services and for a healthier life, call 609-463-CAPE.